There's this west. Another nice night here in the mountains. Beautiful spring night. And uh, today I got the pleasure of getting my hands on a uh, new blade that I've been looking forward to since um, I saw the videos on SHOT Show. And um, honestly, it uh, as a uh, working in the EMS field, it really solves a lot of problems or a lot of uh, a lot of issues on how many tools and uh, blades I carry on a given day. And uh, right here, I have a quick little example to anyone who works as an EMT, firefighter, paramedic, or law enforcement. Um, some nice things to have on you, uh, a good glass breaker, a seatbelt cutter, and definitely a good blade. Right, this is my fiance's leak, uh, she's lending it to me for this. So on a given day, I, uh, I'll have these on me, or some form or another. Um, to be more precise, in order to have that same capability, uh, this is what I usually carry, utility blade, multi-tool, more blades, and a seatbelt cutter, and a EOD punch, sorry, C4 punch, to act as a window breaker, and a SOG trident. That's a lot of stuff to carry. Um, each one of them kind of overlaps each other on what they can do, and, uh, you know, I could get away with just this, or this. Most times I'll get lazy and just go with this, because these two, well, that's not fair. Most of them I'll get away with this and uh, go run and get a glass breaker from the engine or borrow someone else's. But it is nice to have everything rolled in and have it on you. So you're not wasting time running back and forth or borrowing your buddies. And so what this leads me to, and again, like I said, I was really stoked when I saw it on SHOT Show. And... Uh, so far, everything that I've seen on the internet, other videos, uh, forums, kind of left me disappointed. I felt like I didn't really get a good picture of it. Like, I just got a short little glimpse. So, today, it came in the mail. I uh, took it to the station. We ran some tests through it. You know, got some opinions from new guys and old firefighters who've been doing this the whole lives. So, without... You know, putting in more BS. What I got today was the SOG Escape. And like I said, I was really stoked when I saw it. I thought, finally, someone came out with a good blade that uh, has all the features I need. And that won't be a cheap little gas station special knife that will break, break on me after I use it. Um, so before I go into this... Um, the only true competition to this, or in my opinion, would be the saw, not saw, the Benchmade Triage. And uh, again, for those who've seen it, it's a uh, it's a rescue blade, sheep foot design, and a uh, their rescue hook integrated into the back of the handle that acts like a you know multi tool. So, um, well, this is just going to be a quick, or as quick as possible, little review, or shoot from the hip review, uh, just a general impression and a preliminary review um, before I actually go more in depth into it and uh, give it six month trial and one year trial. So far, um, I honestly feel like it's a win. Uh, so without further ado, I know I said this before, but let's just jump right into it. So, why would you need a blade like this? Well, for EMS and fire, and maybe EDC, it's three tools in one. It's essentially this, but all in your blade. Sorry, essentially this to me, but all in one blade. Um, I have my blade, my seatbelt cutter, and my glass breaker. Um, a great benefit on my half, or in my opinion, is that I am no longer scrambling to find a blade, seatbelt cutter, or glass breaker all in my pockets, or all trying to dig in my turnouts where I have not only my pants pockets, but also my turnout coat pa pockets and other tools in there. 
Uh, this just gives me the nice option of having it all right there in one package where I know where it'll be. For the longest time, and this stands true now, this has been my blade. And it will continue to still be on me. And uh, the con my whole concept of this is once you get used to where your blade is, you know where it is, and it, you know how to get to it, and it becomes a second reflex. So hopefully that's what this blade will do for me and for others who, uh, who share the same issues. Anyways, so another reason why you might want this blade or uh, have interest in this blade, it's a lot better quality than any other gas station blade you'd get. And it comes at a really competitive price compared to the triage. Um, it's SOG, we know them well for their quality and of course for that lifetime warranty so I can use this thing without fear of breaking it and being up the creek without a paddle. So just some flyby specs. The blade is uh, 3 fourths, sorry, 3.4 3 .4 inches. It weighs 4.8 ounces. A little heavy. Um, it's partially serrated as you can see. I'm not going to go that far into uh, materials. The blade is N, or sorry, 9CR18 MOV. Uh, the only thing I can really tell you about it is it's sharp, it holds its edge, and Spyderco uses it in some of their blades. Uh, the handle is made out of anodized aluminum. Uh, it's a poly, they, it has a polycarbon insert in it. And, um, of course, it's, uh, it's got shallow pocket clip and seatbelt cutter and glass breaker. It uses a uh, rocker lock system. And, again, I'll go more into that. And uh, SOG MSRP is it for about $65. You can go online and pre-order it on some, website, some websites for about $38 to 40 bucks. Keep in mind that price right there for later on. Um, some of you guys might really consider this a hit or so show sto show stopper, but uh, it is made in China. Um, I know a lot of you guys have that made in the USA pride, but for me, it's it's a good knife. It does its job. It's made well. I, I can honestly care what care less if it came from China, U.S. or the Philippines. All right, so moving along. Um, let's compare it to its competition, or, you know, one of its bigger competitions, which would probably be the triage. Alright, the blade length on the triage is 3.5 inches, which is, you know, 0 0.10, 0 0.10th of an inch different than the uh, SOG, no real big deal. Excuse me. Uh, the blade material is N680 on the main blade, and, uh, 440C on the safety cutter. The blade design on the triage is a sheet foot design, which, uh, in my opinion, I, I would kind of consider that a, a con. I like my spear point tip on this blade. Um, I am kind of happy that it didn't come with the sheet foot, because, and honestly, if, if I'm going to use the sheet foot design, it's going to be used to cut under a seatbelt between, sorry, cut a seatbelt, trying to get the blade in between the patient and the belt without harming him. But I have the seatbelt cutter for that, and so does the, um, so does the triage. So that's kind of some repetitiveness. Take it as you want, you know, a pro or con. I, I kind of see it as a little unnecessary, uh, kind of unnecessary. But, um, it uses an arc lock system, and it weighs about 5.10 ounces. Uh, the SOG Escape weighs about 4.8. Um, and like I said earlier, the triage uses the uh, rescue hook that's towards the back rear of it and it flips out like a multi-tool would. Uh, its price point is 100 what I can find for the lowest, one of the lowest prices is $140 uh, street. Um, to me, in this economy, and shameless is saying that you know, being on a volunteer department where we're only issued our major PPEs, everything else comes out of our pocket. Um, and especially when, like I said, in this economy, uh, $140 can go a long way. 
Uh, it's pretty much a hundred dollar difference between the escape and the triage and for me triage was not an option when I knew this baby was coming out a um, hundred bucks can get me a lot of extra medical supplies for the truck um, extra gear 